Well, I was a part of a group called the Task Force. We were out there during the riots trying to help out, uh, trying to keep kids out of trouble, and we were doing a pretty good job. And you have to understand that there were gunshots going off like it was a war zone. Bam, 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 bam. Uh, it, it, there was a little pressure, but I didn't feel it. All I knew is that I was there to see what I can do to keep kids from getting shot, uh, from hurting others as they rode by. Those were turbulent times and a lot of folks made big mistakes. Uh, when I got shot, I was riding down the street. Harold Morris, Pastor Harold Morris now, uh, he was driving. Uh, Gerald Brown, now gone, that's my friend, uh, he had gotten out of the car to go into bylaws to help push the kids out. I was getting ready to go. Uh, my friend Speedy Lanyard Goodson was sitting in the back seat on the right side. Somehow he was leaning over that way, I was leaning over this way. I turned around to pick something up and I looked up and there was a state police and it was easy to recognize in that dark blue. I saw him, I didn't see him pull the trigger. I just boom and then I found myself flying up in the air or whatever, up in the air over and fell on top of Harold Morris and Harold. I said, Harold, I'm shot. And Harold said, me too. Uh, we ended up going to the hospital Harold drove the entire way. I don't know how he did it. But I thought I was dead. I really thought I was dead that day. Uh, thank God I'm not and Harold's okay. Uh, Gerald Brown, had he stayed in the car, would have gotten two bullets through the back of his head. If people would sit down every day, take the time to reflect on their day, reflect on the week, reflect on their attitude, reflect on what they're going to do, for their lives and reflect on what you can do to help others, it would be a better place.